hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i have a new video for you guys and it is going to be how to turn an image like this into an svg so that you can use it for your projects in design spaces like cricut design space so the program i'm going to be using or the software i will be using today is adobe illustrator this is the best way to turn something like this into an SVG. Um, I'm just going to use a 1500 by 1500. And here are my preset details. Um, and then I'm just going to click create. Okay, now that I have my canvas here, I'm just going to drag my image onto my canvas. Another way that you can put the image in is by file, uh, going to file and place. And you would grab the image that you would like to get from there. Okay, so now that I have my image, I'm going to click on my image and I'm going to hold shift so that it's proportioned and kind of drag it and make it a lot larger. And I like to work kind of off of the canvas so that I can see the background. Okay, so I'm going to continue to have my image clicked. I'm going to click embed. Once the image is embedded, I'm going to go to window and image trace, which I already have open here. It's also here, but once you click down here, you only have these options. They're kind of like the image trace presets, and I don't want that. I want to actually have a, I want to have control of what I'm doing. So I'm going to go here to mode. I'm going to click color. I want two things. I want the outline of this butterfly and I want the inside of the butterfly. So what I'm going to do is click color and on the colors here, I'm going to click three. I'm going to hit preview so that I can see if everything looks good. Trace it, you can still customize it and kind of play around with it, but for now I'm going to keep it like this. Now I'm going to click this expand button and it's going to kind of release the image so that it is into pieces. But they're still going to be grouped together so I can still move it around as a whole. And I will show you how to release that as well. But first let's let the image expand. Okay, now you can see all these little paths, these little blue lines, and I'm going to click off. So if I move it, it's still one image, right? But it does show that it has all these little pieces. So what you would do is just go to object and ungroup. And once that is done, now I can move the little pieces. I want to delete this background. Okay, and depending on which image you are using, you want to make sure like all the blacks are with the blacks, right? So that would be all together. So what I'm going to do, to be honest, all I really need is like this part and then like a background part. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click on the black. I'm going to go to select same fill in stroke. And I'm going to press command eight just to make it one cut image. So if there were any other black pieces, it would um, stick with that. So now I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to click option on my keyboard and drag it down. And I'm actually going to command eight all of this together because that is going to be my background image. So as you can see, it has all of these little cuts. So what you can do in this case is I would highlight it all. I would go to this Pathfinder little tablet here, or tab, sorry, and I'm going to do Unite so that it's one solid image. Now in the project that I'm using, this would actually be my 
pink. So I would choose like a pink color. It's a lot more lighter than that. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to select um, Arrange and send it to the back. Now this black portion, I'm going to turn gold. And then this, these little pieces here, I don't need. So I'm just going to delete those. Okay, so this was um, compounded. What command eight is, is if you go to file, I believe, let me look for it. When you click Command-8, I believe it's an object, and you do a compound path, and you're making that compound path, which means it's just combining it so that it cuts into one piece. Um, so now I have these two pieces. If I wanted to export them and put them into Cricut Design Space, what I would do is put this back on my canvas now that everything is good. You can center it if you'd like. If you were to sell something like this, you want to make sure, first of all, you're using images that you have the commercial license to. So I'm going to enlarge it and kind of center it. Okay. So I like to group my items. So I'm just going to do Command G. I'm going to go to File, Export export as when you are going to save it you want to make sure that the format is correct so you want to make sure that you are saving it as an SVG and then just click export this is what the SVG options will look like so you want to kind of keep everything the same object IDs you can layer the names minimal or unique I keep it like that I have these two check marked and I click OK. So now that I'm in Cricut Design Space, I'm going to go ahead and click New Project. Just FYI, Cricut has a ton of its own little butterfly um, things that you can use and I am subscribed to Cricut Design Space. But I still wanted to show you guys if, you know, in case there isn't an image on there or if you're trying to do a more complicated image or if you're doing a personal project and you want to use like a character but you want to make like a 3d party favor or a banner or something you can totally use this method so I'm going to click upload I'm going to go here to upload image I'm going to drag and drop that SVG that we saved you can name it here if you like and then click upload I'm going to click on the SVG, add it to the canvas. So this size is actually the size that I had it on on the canvas because it was so large. So if I wanted it smaller, I would just add a different size canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this to a size 6. Okay, so if you guys look over here to the right, you can see that these items are grouped together because I did the command G on Adobe Illustrator. So I can ungroup this and I have my two layers just like that. Okay, so I hope this is helpful for you guys I, in some kind of way. And I will see you guys in my next video next week. I will do a little bit more of designing stuff. And I also do uh, a plan on doing a like planner review because I did get a new planner, which I'm so excited about. But for now, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.